ولكل وجهة هو موليها فاستبقوا الخيرات أينما تكونوا يأتي بكم الله جميعا إن الله على كل شيء قدير السلام عليكم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولكم ونتكين it's the second day and certainly we are enjoying the blessings of this holy month as you heard the qari reminding us of something that is very interesting that everyone every group every nation every individual sets a direction for oneself or one's own community one's own group the divine guidance from muslims is that their direction should be set in a manner that would ensure that they excel in doing things that are useful for human beings and humanity so as an individual as a community as a group as a mosque as an islamic center we should be engaging in doing things that would ensure that we out excel all others in things that are good if you find that uh, there are uh, groups and individuals who are involved in feeding the homeless we get involved and then we out excel in doing that thing if we realize there are people who are helping the people while visiting the hospitals and visiting the sick and the needy we outdo them in those kind of things it is not to compete others it is primarily to fulfill our responsibilities towards others as believers in divine faith it is our responsibility to ensure that we do more than others so that we could uh, earn uh, not only the rewards for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life but for the life hereafter as well and we also make it easy for other people and in this particular context the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also told us that uh, one of the acts of mercy in this month is to ensure that uh, we deal in a lenient manner in matters of transactions financial transactions or social transactions and we are also reminded that uh, if we have given a loan to someone we should be lenient and kind and uh, polite in asking that loan back from that individual and certainly this is an act of mercy and as we know that we are in the first 10 days of the month of ramadan which are the days of mercy aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa lakum